All right, students, uh, I want to give you some background on how to use Desmos and maybe give you an idea for something you might be able to use um, for your art project. Okay, so again, the idea is to create a picture using Desmos. Okay, so what you got is you got your main basic screen here. I'm going to show you how to use a couple things that are going to make your life a little easier for this, show you the basics uh, so that you can spend your time um, being as uh, efficient as possible, getting as much done as possible once you're on the computer. So a couple things. First, if you don't have an account, I would recommend you do that now. Uh, set up your account. You'll notice I'm logged in. Okay. Um, you'll want to add an account because then anything you do will be saved. Right now, this is untitled graph, but I could save it, and uh, well, there's nothing on there, but we could. So if I click over here, this opens a bunch of different things I've worked on at different times. Uh, some of these are mine. Some of them, that one I actually pulled from someone else. But um, for example, the house, I believe we showed this in class. This is sort of the basics of what you're looking for. Okay, a, a picture like this, this one only has five lines, one line for the grass, two lines for the walls, two lines for the roof. That's a total of five lines. Uh, and then a circle. I will give you equations for all the, the things you need like that. Um, but this, so if you wanted to put a circle, I'll give you the equation for that or an ellipse or um, parabolas we know. So um, if you want to do like a rainbow, a bunch of parabolas might work well here and then choose colors. So let me show you a couple things like that, uh, how to do that kind of stuff uh, and show you just through the basics here. So I'm going to start a new one. We go over here and click new blank graph. Okay. So right over here, this is where you type in your stuff. And if you're not doing it on your phone, you'll want to pull up the key, keypad. Come on. Well, it's not letting me pull up the keypad for some reason. There it is. Okay. Uh, equals X. So there's a straight line. And you're like, oh, okay, I got it. So I'm going to hide the keypad because it's going to just, but you know what's there. So anytime you want, um, uh, squared, you know, exponents, um, greater than, less than, if you want to do shading. Uh, you can even use letters. Uh, these symbols we'll use a little bit, and I'll come back to those in just a moment. Okay, so let's say this is your graph. And you say, oh, well, you know, I was going to make it like a mountain, so it should be green. And you say, okay, go ahead and go to this, edit list, and when you click on the color, you can now change the color. So, you know what, I want a green, I want a dashed. You can actually make it a dash line if for some reason you're picture one of the green dash line. Okay, so I'm going to choose regular line like that. He said, well, you know what, that's okay, but I want it a little thicker. If you go to the graph settings, you can change the mode. And projector mode will just make your graph a little thicker. The line will get a little thicker. That's all. You can turn that on or turn it off at any time. It's real easy. Other than that, we won't reuse too much other things in the graph settings. Because zooming in and zooming out, you can use with um, either the buttons here or... Um, the touchpad on your laptop, you can zoom in, zoom out with that. Uh, so let's say, okay, I want a mountain, but I was like, well, the mountain shouldn't go down forever. I want to, I want this to be the grass or the, the ground. So let's say I only want the mountain to go from zero up to this point at five. So the height of the mountain is going to be from zero to five. So the way we do that is we say, okay, height zero to five. And I have to do it like this. What you're saying is only graph the y values from 0 to 5. Only show this graph from 0 to 5. And there you go. Okay. Now, once you're doing that, then now you might be like, oh, I want to line down this way. Okay. So let's go, I would know, okay, y equals to, in order to go down, it has to be a negative slope. You say, oh, shoot, it's not in the right spot. Well, I need to shift it up so that it would be going down here. That's where all our equations are going to come in. So you need to shift it up, like up 5. Oh, wait, no, that's not enough. Let's go up 10. There it is. Okay. Now you're like, oh, well, but it's blue. It's supposed to be green. Again, hit edit list. Click on that. Click on the color. And done. Now it's green. Like, oh, but I only wanted to go up to 0 to 5. All this stuff gets easier and easier, and that's why I want to show you these shortcuts. So if you want to go to 0 to 5, you can retype that or copy and paste it. There you go. So little by little, that's how you're going to create that. Um and things like that. The more you play around with the computer, the faster it'll get. Uh, it's not that bad. Um, and that's what I want you to hopefully see. So like, if you want to repeat this, you say, I want another mountain. OK, well, obviously, we want it shifted somewhere over. Well, now we can do that stuff like with our parabolas. Putting a number inside will shift it over. Say, oh, let me shift it over to 10. There it is.
All right. Now I need a downsize one. All right. So let's copy and paste this again. But let's make it going downward slope. You say, oh, but now that's there. Hmm. I need to shift it over here. We need to shift it over so this 10 is now over at 20. So instead of 10, change it to 20, and there it is. All right. Color is wrong, so it we'll changes the green. And you get the idea. So those are a lot of things you can do uh, with this this program, sort of. Okay, so that's one. Those are those are options for what you can do. Uh, you notice I got two mountain ranges, or maybe these are two tents, and there's a Cub Scout uh, group here. I could use little stick figures and stuff like that. Uh, and then also, like I said, play around with the scale. Maybe those now, those are no longer mountains. Those are two little speed bumps, you know, or they're just, you know, whatever they are. Okay, so uh, all kinds of stuff you can do. Like I said, um, happy face. We did that guy because we were mostly working with circles at the time. But I can help you. I can show you the equations for that. I will give you the equations, in fact, and you'll just have to modify the numbers. Uh, then, like I said, the Golden Gate was one of my personal favorites, obviously. We've talked about it a lot. But once you notice, all the vertical lines are all very similar. Okay, so you're going to notice things that are all the same. 15, 14, 10, and then like 10, 8, 6, 4, and so on and so on. And that's for all these little vertical, all the little uh, vertical lines over here. All right. Hopefully that gives you an idea. Hopefully um, you now know somewhere where to start. And the main thing is play around with it. It's a computer. You're not going to break it. Um, and probably the fastest way we can learn stuff is just goofing off and playing around with it. So uh, try what you know. Try x squared if you want parabolas. Try um, x equals just a number if you want vertical lines. All kinds of stuff. Remember slope-intercept form everything we know okay oh and one other thing let's go back to our original graph one other thing we can animate this stuff uh, let's go back let's see back 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 here we go let's close this okay no I think we lost our thing all right let me just show you one last thing then like if you went y equals 2x minus 5 Okay, so that gives you a line. Well, let's say for some reason your you, your uh, your animation was like a moving elevator or something like that. Um, so let's put a slider for the two. Add it. So just change it to a letter. Okay, so if you change it to a letter, they'll say add slider, and you do that, and it gives you this little thing, so you can slide it back and forth and change the steepness. Okay. So maybe your, your animation might have someone walking on this thing and they might be going up and down, up and down, or whatever. Um, that's how you can sort of tilt it up or down. All right. If you want to just have a, um, like, an elevator type thing, you go, like, y equals 6. All right, sorry, let's change that to a. Sorry, a. And you play it, that will go up or down. And I don't know what you're thinking. Well, that doesn't really look like an elevator. Okay, well, whatever it is, you know. Uh, so those are just other things you can do. So play around with it, have some fun, try things out. And again, Monday through Wednesday, we will be in the lab. So um, let's try and get as much done as we can in there. So play around with it this weekend if you can. And have some fun with it. All right, see you Monday.